what's up good people it's your girl Masi Wambui back here on your screen with a new video in case you are new here karibu sana and in case you are a returning subscriber welcome back so i start this video or vlog so i should say in the village and this is me i woke up a little bit early so that i could catch the sunrise but i cannot get the right angle so yeah let's go and try and get a good angle because even if i if i try to zoom as you can see it's not really really giving what i'm looking for so yeah welcome to this vlog and i hope you like it i hope you enjoy if you do please please give it a big thumbs up and also comment leave a comment down below and let me know um what other videos you'd love to see from me yeah and if you are new please please subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you will be among the first people to be notified that a video is up, right? So yeah, welcome to a new vlog. It starts here at our village. As you can see, most of the fields are empty. This is what I'm trying to show you because it has not rained in a while. I mean, global warming is that another thing. And yeah, the fields are just bare because there's no uh, rain for us to plant the crop. But we are waiting for the October rains. Let's hope it does. And the dogs are here enjoying uh, themselves and playing a lot. So after breakfast, uh, we jump right into preparing lunch and this is mom um, picking the beans to remove any dirt and chaff so that we can uh, boil them. And as you can see, we also have some green maize that we're going to be making our githeri with so that we can now continue with the rest of the day. Yeah, she likes doing her chores early, so that's why she's making lunch early also. So
the next day. guys welcome back to this video actually i just feel the video is all over the place um i don't even know um how i feel about this video but uh, welcome back um i'm currently at the imara mall and all i want to do is i want to get into a shop that has really been hyped on on uh, social media and i've seen people buying very interesting things on that shop and i just want to see i want to whether i can believe that hype um yeah so the shop is called little more because i know uh, most of you know it if you don't yes there's a shop called little more um i've seen adv been advertised on instagram and they say it's at the imara mall and i think i've seen they have very beautiful nice decor pieces utensils um pretty much everything and it's the prices are very very fair so yeah uh, this is me coming back from the village and I am at Mombasa Road and I thought before I proceed maybe I can uh, walk into it more and just see what is inside here. Besides, I've never been into the Imara Mall since it was built. I've just been seeing it uh, being built until it was opened but I never got a chance to get in so this is my time now as I check what is at Little Mall and any other beautiful or just nice shop inside here. So yeah, let's see whether I'll get something and then... I'll show you whether I'll have found anything. And yeah, so let's go. And where were you? How could I know you were falling to grabbing the wind, cutting my skin? But it's hard because I, I'm falling. Tell me why I'm falling.
because I'm back. I'm done spending money. <laughs> I didn't really get so much from um what we call it little more. Uh because one um I wanted to get functional things. I just didn't want to buy stuff that I'm not going to be using. And also for the big big things that I really want, um need the budget. So the the price is very fair. But it needs a budget, okay? So I had not budgeted. I just wanted to pop in and see what the shop has. So I've uh, pinpointed a few things that I will budget for and then come pick them when I'm ready. But I got a few things. I couldn't just go and come out empty. So yeah, I got some few stuff, which I will be showing you when I get home. So I'm still outside the mall. And I'm enjoying my Coke. This is Coke Zero. Yeah, we are trying to keep healthy. So yeah, let me uh, get home and then I will show you what I got. Maybe we'll see what else to do before we end this video. And yeah, so let go, let go, let go. Hey guys, um, welcome back to the video. Actually, it's many, many, many hours since I spoke to you because I think I spoke to you at around um, 12 when I was at the Imara Mall. And now it's 6.48. I hope you can see me. Yeah, I'm using the front camera. That's why it's inverted, but it's 648. And I want us to do the little more haul because the last time I spoke to you, I was going to little more at the Imara Mall. So yeah, so let's uh, check what I bought. I did not buy so many things. As I told you, I bought, I wanted to buy functional things. Okay, that are inexpensive. I just didn't want to buy things. Also, I'm in my headscarf because I'm all showered and ready to rest. So I'll take dinner and just go to bed. I'm so tired. Yeah, today's journey has just been so long. And yeah, so let's uh, check what I bought at Little Mo. So, uh, Little Mo, this is how, uh, I hope you can see, let me put it here. This is how the bags uh, at Little Mo, like when you buy something, you put in such a bag. But you know, to see, <laughs> this bag is around, I think, 15 shillings. And it's friendly, lead, love, and love. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, so this other place, live, love, and live, love, and love. Yeah. So, I bought a few items from Little Mo. Yeah. This is how the bag is looking. And as I told you, I'm going to do uh, like budget myself. So that I can go and get like more kitchenware because I love to cook and I want to give you guys quality content. Like, yeah, so I want to invest in um, crockery and cutlery and pots, like nice pots to cook and a little bit of deco. As you can see, I love flowers. So by the way, sorry about the mess that is going <laughs> on behind me. This is the life of a working student, okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm still studying. I think I had mentioned in a previous video that um, there's a course that I'm doing, so there's a lot of reading material here, and I use this as my study table. So yeah, forgive me, but uh, I'm loving my flowers. As you can see, they have opened. Let me just bring them closer so you can see. They look so beautiful, right? I love yellow. Mkamba na yellow, okay? And I also have others. Let me show you the others. Here we go. I have white and orange as well. I love how these ones have opened. Especially the white ones. They look so nice. So cute. So cute. So yep. Hey, I'm digressing from the video. Sorry about that. But let this is just what I'm cooking. Let's see what I bought at Little Mo. And then we can cook dinner. And I think I'll just end the video. Or the vlog. Again, I'm just confused. I don't even know what to call this because it's all over. I'll just end the video after we cook dinner. So at the Imara Mall, because Little Mo is at the Imara Mall. Okay. So Little Mo is basically, as I told you, I, um, a home essentials shop. Yeah. You will get most of the things are uh, deco, utensils. You can also get picture frames. You can also get... Um, Decorative flowers, you can get perfume, you can get what else do I see? Clothes, you can get um storage like the storage trays and uh t 
teens uh you can get what uh birthday party deco you can get um pens and uh like stationery like highlighter markers such things and yeah and also you can get tables and chairs like dining set like living room set pillows bedding like it's just a one stop shop um and i tend to think it's a chinese shop correct me if i'm wrong down in the comment section below it's a chinese shop uh that sells very affordable things uh in terms of now all those things that i've mentioned kitchen living room like any just a lifestyle shop that's what i would say yeah so i bought a few things it's been hyped so much on uh, instagram but believe the hype because the things are very very affordable uh and for sure for sure i will be going back to make them know okay so watch out for that and as i showed you this is the bag now let's see at the imara mall there are so many shops so we've got tj's we've got um pizza in galitos and all that we also have a textbook center there and that is the first shop that i went to and at textbook center they had a sale and i bought my niece some story books this is the first book it's called kaga and the coconut kaga and the coconut and then we also have this other one it's they are all read yourself the sleeping beauty yeah that is how it looks so i bought her these two story books uh it will enable her to like with good english uh to be able to speak good english and mastery of language yeah and even spelling uh, and i can see they have others in the same series ah uh, titles in this series bablu goes shopping bablu helps kids with life so they are quite a number but what i like about them is that they have quite big writings and also pictures to entice a kid to read so this is very interesting for babies to read and it's from, it's by alka alka publications if you have want nice books you can get alka because i have bought alka publications quite a, a number of them and i have given them to her and she's able to read i just love how children's books are pretty and they are not boring just sweet uh just interesting to read yeah but adult novels oh my goodness oh my god huh? This is Sleeping Beauty. Did you ever read Sleeping Beauty when you were in school? If you did not, oh my god, I don't know what sort of school you went to. No offense. But these were stories that we read uh, during our time. Nowadays, CBC children, I don't know what they are reading. But when I get them, I, I, because I like them, I just take them to her. And they, at the end, they also have a word bank. Like, she's able to know different words. That was textbook center. I also saw quite a number of good books that I'll also be going to buy next when I get to textbook center uh, that I liked. Yeah. Then now let's go to Little Mo because now everything else left here is from Little Mo. So at Little Mo, I bought this table mat. There are two. It's written, let's take coffee, bread, and I like the art in it, like just so artistic i bought two of those this is the other one let's take coffee tea and bread oh let's take a coffee break guy i'm reading let's take coffee tea and bread guy it's written let's take a coffee break i'm using the front camera so i hope um but this is how they look let's take a coffee break let's take a coffee break i love them these ones were going for, let me see whether I can get the receipt. Yeah. Here it is. So for the table mat, table mat, each was 80 shillings and there are two. So for such a table mat, two of these, I spent 160 bob. So you see why I'm telling you, um, little more has cheap but nice stuff. If you want looking to decorate your house, your living room, your bedroom, like little more, is a good shop. Also, Miniso is a good shop. So, and also if you want those small, small knickknacks, you can go to little more at the Imara Mall. Not sponsored, I'm not advertising, I'm just plugging you guys. So yeah, I bought two of those. The other thing that I bought are these 
uh, to their plates or saucer plates. I don't know what to call them. Then it's in ceramic plates. It was a hundred shillings, and this is how they look. Let me just open them. They are so tight. Oh. I think she tied them like this so they will not break. Uh -huh. Yeah. So this is how each plate is looking. It's so basic, simple, but chic. It looks like that. Just white with some silver lines i bought two this is the other one this was 200 because one was 100 shillings so i will definitely be going to little more for more utensils because i mean they have nice things at nice prices all right the other thing i bought was this um this uh what is it like a bag it's it's called a tech case they are calling it a tech case so I bought it because I want to be storing my earphones. My earphones for the longest time have been living in my money pass, which is not really a good thing because they make my purse expand and now it's getting spoiled. So I thought if I pick these, it will enable me to be a little bit more organized. I know ladies, most of us love to have an organized bag or an organized handbag. So you find small such bags, a coin purse. Uh, now I got these is a tech case, such as such things. Uh, and this is how it looks on the inside. You see, it has like a, it has like a pocket here where you can put maybe your earpods or such, but you can easily put your earphones so that they can be intact. Close it and just zip it up like so. So I liked it. They're, they, they're in so many shades, um, but I think I love the green one. We had others uh, on the same section. This tech case cost me how much? Uh, 100 bob. 100 bob. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me see. Um, coin purse. Yeah. Actually, they are written at it's a coin purse, but I don't think this is a coin purse. Oh, yeah, you can, you can use it as a coin purse, but it's a tech case. I'm thinking me, I bought it for putting my earphones. And this this went for a hundred shillings okay la okay not last uh we have we i also got uh birthday candles this um my baby is almost turning six that's the fifth of the month so watch out for that video and so i bought a, a birthday number they were very cheap this was 80 shillings and i didn't want to wait until i come here looking at the supermarket and i'm not getting numbers Sometimes it's very hectic to get birthday stuff. And lastly, I bought beautiful hair ties. Um, this is the first. Let's go back. This is the first one, and this is how it looks. I just love how simple it is, and it's very, very tight and strong. This is the first one. Let me show you another one. The other one I bought was this one. This is the second one. I just love how beautiful and simple they are. And imagine one of these was going for only 50 shillings. 50 bob. So you can buy as many as you want. So this is how they are looking. And the last one is this one. This one. It looks like that. Yeah. And it has like dropping um, flowers and this and it also stretches very easily so i got like three three of those and they're just beautiful so ladies if you want knickknacks if you want makeup actually they have makeup and brushes um they even have lotions like, but they're all in chinese so if you are to ask <laughs> what is inside there they also had scented candles but for the scented candles i just did not like how they smell I'm actually looking for scented candles because I want to elevate my pamper routine or my, yeah, the pamper routine. So I'm looking for a scented candle that will last me 
a while and that will smell good okay so yeah they had scented candles but i did not like the smell and they were all smelling the same so i did not get one yeah and i think that's it from liquid mo uh this is how this is it it's called little mo this one little mo yeah someone may not really understand what i'm saying it's a nice shop it recently came to the country it wasn't there so you can uh pop into liquid mo when you can they bring new stuff each and every other time and get yourself something okay uh you can go there with a budget or you can just pop in you will not miss anything to buy so yeah see you will see more of a uh, little more hauls on this channel and by the way if you have not subscribed and you are a new subscriber please please hit that subscribe button or if you are um an old an older guest in my channel and you have not subscribed please just subscribe and join this family because you will want to stay you will love it here okay yeah you will love it here okay i don't have a lot of energy because i'm a bit tired so what to do now i want to prepare dinner ingredients and then we cook dinner i'm not going to be explaining i'm not going to be talking so much because it's not a cooking tutorial it's not a cooking video it's just part of this vlog so yeah i will just uh, show you a little bit snippet and then we end this video or this vlog whatever it is i will just decide by the time i'm editing the video yeah and i think that will be it so see you when we're cooking dinner so yeah i've started cooking dinner and these are the ingredients of today i'm making rice and some chicken stew and as you can see i have some carrots some bell pepper onions and tomatoes my chicken stew will be that basic and uh, maybe put one maggi cube and that's it and this is my rice this is how i love to cook my rice put some onions fry them and then add your rice and then cook it a little bit um for it to absorb the onion flavors and then put some salt add your boiled water so i boil my water separately uh, so to make sure i don't add cold water and then measure it up and allow the rice to cook it's that simple try cooking your rice like this and you will love it you will not boil your rice again like eat plain boiled rice so yeah this is me uh preparing now the stew onions tomatoes and all that other ingredients and yeah so i hope you guys have loved this vlog and I hope you're going to give me a big, big thumbs up. And I hope you will leave a comment in the comment section below. And tell me what other videos you want me to put out for you. Because I'll be sure to do that. Okay. And then also uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And hit that notification bell. So that when I upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified that a new video is up. And this is the end result. And thank you so much for clicking and for sticking around and for listening to me. This is marks the end of this video and I will see you on the next one for sure. Bye guys. Give me all you've got if you're prepared to break the silence. I'll be out in the sunshine running beside the